let's start by opening the capstone first there are two choices I'm using this one here it points to open the file so I'm opening the file and it opens a graph window and the video file but I want data table as well so that's why I'm inserting this table now I can choose time in one column and y position in another table there is this video control you can use start stop and forward backward and so on and it also lets you fast forward okay let's start by calibrating the tool so for that you drag and drop them at the two end of your known scale here this is one meter long scale and you can see the number there otherwise you can change that number if you like also move the coordinate so that it's close to the object you are tracking in this case this white ball white helps because uh, it's brighter so easy to track make sure that button is selected highlighted see it's a blue go ahead click it and it automatically moves by one scale and you can see there is pair of data for time and the position and repeat that process so now I want to insert two more columns this is for y velocity as you can see there is one data missing there because uh, the software calculates the average by taking the difference between two velocities so it's not going to have fast reading insert another column and let's put y acceleration on this let's move that data bit away so that we can see the plot as you can see it's a trajectory let's scale it by using this pointer mouse pointer notice how the shape of the mouse changes that's when you can drag it and this is basically a trajectory because we are plotting the x position and y position let's change this to the time still shape is same because it's changing with time y position changing with time pattern is still same you can change the level axis level and the scaling just enter the numbers you like now let's go to the y velocity and see what kind of plot we can see oh it looks like a, a line but hard to see so let's rescale time and y velocity axis so that we can see the full line it's tilted um, basically straight line so let's select the data so that we can find slope fairly straightforward at this point if we like we can eliminate uh, some outliers so let's do linear fit weighted linear or linear fit it should produce the same result now you see the m here means the slope of this line and b is the intercept slope means acceleration in this case so it's going to be average acceleration let's move this graph copy and paste to the uh, lab notebook for example and now we can change that graph to y acceleration oops unwanted box let's get rid of this first 
And notice the acceleration is around negative 10. So it's out of this range. So let's move it so that it gets into the range. There it is. Let's rescale it so that we can see it better. Oh, it's changing a lot because uh, the acceleration comes from by dividing change in velocity by very small time and both of these numbers are very small so if one changes the acceleration changes a lot so here we selected the data point and we are selecting mean standard deviation and so tabular format now you can see mean and standard deviation in a table so let's copy and paste this on the notebook so now let's move this data to the excel so that we can do further analysis or if we don't want any analysis here we can do everything on excel once we have data so that's what i'm doing here just copy and paste and it nicely pastes those numbers on the table so now all these column become active so you can find average which is same as we found over there no surprise any standard deviation of the sample just select the range and there it is and we can also find uncertainty just by dividing standard deviation by the number of data point in this case it is 14 so i can ask excel to count it so count open parenthesis select the range and close parenthesis oh some typo I can say yes, so it will fix the typo. There it is. It's slightly different because uh, in the previous calculation, I think I used different number. So uh, the count gives me 14. There it was 13. So let's fix that. And you'll see both numbers are same. So we can plot these data. So for that, I go insert and the scatter plot oh there is a mess so i want to get rid of most of them and want to just keep one in this case i want to plot uh, this position data to uh, a quadratic one because i know uh, the position is quadratic in time from kinematic equation so when I use kinematic equation, it fits really nice. As you can see, R square value is very close to 1. And X here is actually T. We are plotting time in horizontal. So the number in front of T square is half of the acceleration. Recall the formula, half a T square. And now we can plot velocity. oops it plotted both of them in vertical axis so i'm removing the time data but inserting that in the x series values now so i'm selecting the x series value and i'm selecting time column here so now you can see the x series value has time y series has the y velocities so now i have a straight line that i want i can uh, let's see put the trend line select the equation r square and you can see it fits really nice r square value is close to one let's make font bigger so that we can read better yes so 0 0.99 is very close to one and the number in front of x x actually is t is the acceleration.